at the end. I will share with you some uh, experience that I have made. It's about why negotiation often fail. <clears throat> In observing numerous negotiations, I found out that there are typical reasons why negotiations fail. Such reasons are, in particular, the parties take positions and try to urge the other party to agree on their own ideas. Factual problems have been mixed up with problems concerning the relationship. The parties assume that there is not enough for all and therefore do not use the power of creativity. The parties try to replace conflicting interests by putting pressure on each other. There is insufficient preparation and the parties try to win at any price. But I'm pretty sure that you can avoid in the future failed negotiations if you, if you reconcile the words that I have said to you during the last hour, maybe one and a half hour, I don't know. Unfortunately, we do not have enough time in the course of this lecture to deal with the question of how we deal with unfair negotiation situations and unfair negotiating partners. It's a very interesting subject, but it would go beyond the scope of this lecture. I have now given you various thoughts, some of which are theoretical. However, knowledge for negotiating is only useful if it supports us in negotiating. We can't get any further with theory alone. I therefore urgently recommend that you put the ideas that appeared, that appeared important to you in my lecture into practice as soon as possible by practicing negotiating cases. We will meet at a three-day course next year where you can contact me with any questions you might have. For the meantime, I wish you a great time and I look forward to meeting you. Bye-bye.